We've got a few different options in theaters this weekend. There's some action, some comedy, and even a real-life drama. I asked film critic Jackson Murphy to give his take on which ones to see and which ones to skip. This man's killed over 150 people. 250, easy. First up, The Hitman's Bodyguard, an action comedy starring Samuel L. Jackson and Ryan Reynolds. You get the snarky Ryan Reynolds dialogue, which I'm so sick of, mixed with the over-the-top, foul-mouthed dialogue of Samuel L. Jackson. The movie has several action-packed scenes, but... Only one of them stands out for me. It's well-staged, it's well-shot, and nobody really talks during it, so it was a nice breather. So, Jackson, should we see it or skip it? If you like these two, see it, but otherwise, skip the Hitman Bodyguard. This weekend's next big release is Logan Lucky. This has a pretty good cast, but what do you think? It really does have a good cast, led by Channing Tatum and Adam Driver. The brothers attempt a heist during NASCAR's legendary Coca-Cola 600 race. Hillary Swank's in it, Seth MacFarlane, but the one to watch out for is Daniel Craig. It's a very wacky, quirky Daniel Craig role with a very different accent for him. What's your verdict? Should we see it or skip it? As far as Logan Lucky is concerned, I say see it at your own risk. Last up is Step, which tells the true life story of 19 high school girls in Baltimore competing together in a step group. The framework is about a competition that takes place at the end of the year, but there's so much beyond that for this movie because the director, Amanda Lippitz, focuses specifically on three girls all in their senior year. It's a fascinating film. It's emotional. It's inspiring. I think I know your answer, but should we see it or skip it? Rarely do I get to say this on this show. Absolutely see Step. Best movie of the year so far. The Hitman's Bodyguard is expected to be the leader of the box office this weekend, earning between 15 and $20 million. Guys, back to you. All right.